Welcome, everybody, to the second episode of our Full Apartment podcast. We're back today to bring you guys some updates on some new games that are out, some updates on the website, and talk about what we've been playing lately. So uh, I, of course, am Mr. Creeper, your awesome host, and today we have Mr. Empty Apartment here with us. Empty, how's it going? Hey, hey, hey. Going all right. Kind of tired, but doing good. You're always tired. Always. And we have uh, Gets Rambolicious Celius with us today. Rambolicious. Not Rambolicious, but Rambolicious. Like, whatever. Ramble, man. like rambling. I know, but not Rambo, because remember last no, episode Rambo. we were talking about Rambo. Uh, it's, you know, it's, this war is never over, man. This is never going to be over. Let's just go on. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, man? I'm pretty good. Uh, weekend just started. Spent half of last night destroying a, a video game I'll probably talk about later, but damn. Uh, God, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> And what, you doing some studying today or what, man? <laughs> I'm not studying, man. I'm just I'm just chilling in a very quiet location. <laughs> <laughs> and then, today we're also reintroducing Mr. Tyrannicos, our former editor, now back as a contributor with the team. How's it going, man? Pretty good. I'm uh, pretty excited to be back. Hey, it's Re- Ty. Really? No, not really. I mean, I was until Empty joined this chat, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, Empty. I love you. I, I, <laughs> and their bromance continues. And I can't believe I said this, I believe, in a pilot episode that we buried you in the backyard, so technically you're zombie tie. Okay, I'll remember that. Just to... Yeah. We'll go back from the dead. Oh my god, dude. How are you at some other place and I still hear that bird in the background? What, what bird? What are you talking about? Every time you talk, I hear a bird in the background. He muses his mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually it's quite like, sick. It's like it's following you. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This is the worst thing ever. I'm, I'm like, ugh. Are you, are you a pirate? Uh, maybe I am. It, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm get piratelicious serious. I'm get piratelicious sounds. Because I do pirate everything from the internet. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oh, uh, except video games. Oh, uh, yeah, except video games in public. Oh, I would never do that. Don't find me, FCC. <laughs> <laughs> Give Let's me a second. Let's jump into what we're doing today. We're going to talk about the site real quick. Of course, as I mentioned, Ty's back with us. Yeah. Ty's doing some new articles and stuff, doing some new uh, some new reviews for us. So, I mean, how's that going so far, man? How, how does it really feel to be back? Uh, it It really does feel good to be back. I'm excited about the new stuff because it actually is a good writing challenge. That's true. That's true. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I mean, what have you been doing since you've been gone? Working, mostly. Worked at GameStop and was, you know, just building snowboards at the same time. And now I'm just working with animals. Oh, working at GameStop sucks, dude. Yes, it does. I hate it. I never go back. I already did once. I'm not going to go back a second time. <laughs> Or you thought it'd be different in a different state? I don't know what I thought. I should have just like <laughs> shot myself in the head with a nail gun, though. That would have been more fun. Yeah, but then we'd have two gets. Wait. <laughs> so you're telling me shooting yourself in a nail gun makes you get silliest? You know what? If that's the case, then every southern redneck is an anime lover who has nothing else better to do than waste the internet's time. That doesn't work. I'm sorry. They're too busy buying you're, guns. You're just an amalgamation of like every culture and every race, aren't you? Nope. Just, just, just your stereotypical <laughs> black Asian guy. Stereotypical black Asian guy. I don't yeah. know many of those. Well, let's talk a bit about those uh, those new articles that we're doing. Uh, we introduced a new review layout, new review type called our rapid review. Uh, with this, what we did is we threw out everything we've always discussed before. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you've been around long enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've heard this... me and Ty talk about this many times about our feeling on review scores and how reviews should be and where we see them going in the future. And what happened was, is as we were looking at this, we realized, A, things might not be progressing this way. This is the way people are using reviews right now. They're using them quickly. They want their information right away. They want review scores to make a quick judgment. And they probably also skim the articles and just pick out the points that they want to, you know, like the pros and cons list. So that's what we did. We threw in a short paragraph about the game, a review score and a pros and cons list for you guys. That's why you can easily and quickly get all the information that you need. So Ty, if you want to Talk a little bit about 
I guess maybe the writing challenge for you and, and what you think about, you know, our, our direction with this. Yeah. I think it's it, it's a really interesting and fun challenge because you have to sum up what you want to say about a game within four to six sentences and a list of pros and cons. So you want it to be as informative as possible, but that's really hard without, you know, running into a few extra paragraphs. And then naturally you can fall back on the pros and cons list, which helps a lot. So it all just makes the process of reading a review much quicker. So you're standing in GameStop or something, go to our mobile app, by the way. Website, <laughs> website, not app. And, uh, you know, you just, you know, you're standing there looking at a few games and you just want a quick review to get the game and get out. And that's what we're trying to deliver, you know, from home or in a game store, or whatever. But it's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. And what it's also helping us do is put out more original content more quickly. Over the past, I mean, what have we been doing this for like two weeks now? We've put out. I think uh, it's the third week. Starting the third week. Well, I think this is the end of the third week right here because I've put out a review a week and okay. I haven't done one this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, o- over the past three weeks, we've put out six reviews when typically before, I mean, we were lucky to get a review a month in. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. I mean, it just depends on what was going on. A lot of it was, and I'm going to talk about this in a second, but a lot of it was just kind of fluff. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you saw my original reviews that I used to do. I went on for a long time, you know, really trying to break down a game, and I think that was fun, but nobody wanted to read my wall of text. (laughs) I I, I liked them. I I liked the reviews like that because they were uh, deep, and they had all the information you needed there, but as I said, when we stopped and thought about it, that's not really how people use reviews anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, rather than going, like, the video route or something like that, we thought this was an easy way for us to quickly, you know, throw out content for you guys and, and hopefully get some new reviews up pretty regularly. Yep. Or in the getaway saying, we sold out some, we sponsored, we got all the things we wanted, we broke everything we said the last two podcasts about reviews, and look what we did now. And we now review it. scores are the best thing in the world. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So we got, <laughs> I love review yeah. scores. And she's happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, we, and guess what? We, uh, the only thing I'm happy, though, to be honest about the review score, is that I'm lucky it's out of 5, not out of 10, or a hundred, which kind of dude, the hundred score. Don't even get me started on the hundred score. Yeah, those, those, yeah, those are just utter disgusting. What's the difference between a sixty-three and a sixty-four? Tell me. What's the sixty-eight and a seventy-one? What the wait? wait, So one's a D plus and one's a C (laughs) minus. Is that that what you're trying to tell me? (laughs) So dumb. Personally, I'm still on the fence about the whole review score things because I find myself looking at the scores, kind of second guessing myself. I know. Well, me too. But like, kind of, yeah. You know, you created that guide to what our scores mean, and it's that makes it not just a number. Like, I think a lot of people see a three out of five on a game and automatically thinks it, it's a poor score, um, right? But you know, you have the breakdown to the right of the reviews. A three out of five is a game you know that might be worth checking out if it's for you. It's not just oh, it's a three. It's a bad game. Yeah, right. and, and I think it's something that we might not encourage you to purchase, but maybe rent it, borrow it from somebody to check it out first. Right before you actually run a purchase, uh, anything like a four or five, I would suggest that you buy. And, and, I mean, it's all broken down on the site. There, a five is, hey, go out and buy this damn thing right now. Yeah, and even a, a two is, isn't utter crap. You know, you just you it's know, just if, hardcore. If it's a series for you, you'll like it. Right? Yeah, that's why I gave SimCity a two, was because you yeah. know what? If you're really into SimCity, you might want to check this out. But honestly, it can be avoided by pretty much everybody else. Pretty much it's more for the dedicated hardcore fan of the series. I mean, I'm surprised I had a chance to read Ty's review of Dynasty Warriors. I'm surprised he gave it a 3 instead of a 2, because I always felt that Dynasty Warriors, after, I guess, my PS2 eras, just, that's it for me, man. I can't I can't, I can't, match Square anymore, but apparently, yeah. you can still match Square and be happy. I've yeah. always thought Dynasty Warriors was well, a Well, you know, I, I would have given it a 2. I love the series, but I have to be, you know, unbiased here. It, it's, it's pretty bad. And it doesn't change much, but I still love the series. And this one actually improved. That's why I think it earned that three instead of a two. Yeah, I just hope that um they have a better way of working their multiplayer con- concepts out. It oh, it sucks in Empires. Yeah. I hate it. I know, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about too. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's like because if I reviewed, I would have gave it a two, or you know, if I was my inner asshole, I would just give it a one. But I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I can't well, give. Game I think one it's yet. still a decent game if you like the series and one. That, that's that's harsh for me. I know exactly. You had to be, you had to unleash your inner asshole for that. <laughs> well, gets with the new layout, you've actually been able to kick out a couple reviews for us. I mean, how are you liking it? 
Oh man, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not a, like I, I think I mentioned several a couple podcasts where I'm not a game review writer guy. So this is with this new format, it actually gives me a way to write reviews, even add my little spin on it. Because if you guys read the Un- Uncharted Golden Abyss, I wrote the Fresh Prince Billy a rap for you because that's how bad the game was. <laughs> the game was, was so good, bad man. for me to break down. Where I wrote a rap and a paragraph because like this game is so bad, it's the only way to make it interesting for people to read it. And <laughs> and the funny like thing that. is, yeah. And the whole time I played the game, and I was just utterly disappointed in it because I actually am a huge fan of the Uncharted series. I enjoy it. I'm a fan of Nolan North. Uh, Craig T. Nelson should voice act more video games. I need a Sully video game coming out. Naughty Dog, work with that, people. Come on. Uh, Empty's all for that. Yeah. Empty's and... sleeping and eating. <laughs> he's, 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 sleep, any of this. Sleeping on, he's sleeping on life. <laughs> but the I'm thing here. is... But the thing is that, like, it's not a really, it's not, it's not a game per se. I recommend no people to get. But if you're a hardcore fan of the series of the game, I recommend you pick it up. But otherwise, don't touch it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's still free for PlayStation Plus users right now, right? Yeah, it's still currently still free. Yeah. Yeah. So you got PlayStation Plus, you can get it for free. Check it out for yourself. Ty touched on this real quick, talking about the mobile aspect of the site, having to do with the rapid reviews. What we did do is now if you're on your phone and you go to our website, it automatically redirects you to a special mobile page where it has a full list of our rapid reviews and a search function. So if you need something on the fly, like you said, you're standing in GameStop and you want to look up a review real quick, you can punch it in or or check out our most recent ones and find it like that extremely quickly. And I know Nick's trying to talk to some of his developer buddies, possibly getting a mobile app going for this too. So if you guys have any ideas or anybody that knows somebody that might be able to do that, Hit us up and let us know. Uh, we'll see what's up with that because that's something we're really looking into right now. And I yes. just want to throw out there, the rapid reviews thing is still new. We don't have many up there. And I actually would like to take suggestions for what to review because I think with this new format, I'm going to blow through my library pretty quick. <laughs> oh, man, you are so, you're very lucky because I'm, I'm the opposite of you. I don't think I could blow through my library because... There's so many games I played ish, and I'm like, there's some games I just don't want to review. Like, I don't want to review Black Ops. I don't want to review Sonic Generations. I don't want to review a couple of games <laughs> I play because, like, I just don't want to review them only because it's like, no way. This not only I feel like it's been talked to, and it's like, no one want to hear a perspective of somebody saying Sonic Generations was the best game ever. Sega didn't fuck up this time. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't, really I don't think, think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, exactly. He- I don't think people want to hear me say that because it's already... Want, it's already just, no, no, that's the next review I want from you. Sonic Generations? Yeah. You want me to talk <laughs> in my to squeal, that. You want me to tell my square little voice and do it, all right, just for you? But honestly, oh, I would, uh, there's a couple of games I want to review, some games I don't review, so I kind of have a good balance. I don't think I'll blow through well, my library that quickly. And I think that's another good point to the way we're doing this now is it gives you guys the opportunity to say, hey, I can review something I just played, I can review something I played before, and I can get it up quickly and get my thoughts up about it. So, you know, if I want to review the entire Shin Megami series, I can do that. Pretty much. Yeah, like. yeah. The other aspect of that, and part of the reason that we went to this rapid review format, was we wanted to continue doing original content, stuff that was original to us. We took a look around real quick, and we didn't really find anybody else doing reviews like this. So we wanted to, you know, take this, uh, hone it down, and make it ours. So as of right now, the rapid reviews are, I mean, as I noted down on our podcast, the meat and potatoes of what we're doing. Uh, so that's the main part of our site right now, and, and that's what we're focusing on. We also want to continue to focus in on more original content that's ours alone. I know everybody does podcasts, but I mean, we're going to continue doing the podcast because they're they're fun for us to do. I mean, seriously, I mean, listen to us. We're having a blast, right? Emily? Allegedly. Ooh. No, I actually, <laughs> if you guys can't tell, me and Ty have been started drinking the moment Creeper was talking the entire podcast. We're not having fun. We're forced to be here. So let's, let's, we're having fun. Where's my Jack Daniels? Seriously, Ty, I'm getting pass paid. me some Jack. What are you talking about? You're getting you paid? Get your check? <laughs> what? Oh, Wait, I'm we got checks. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Creeper, Ty, you. Get, gets is a volunteer, remember? I'm a volunteer. Oh, right. Well, you told me. You're one of those. One of those. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Being racist? One of those people now? Expendable. Expendable? Oh, you just want all those Asian gamers now? Racist. Yeah, you're no do you, Nick. Do you know how many kids want to write for me? <laughs> From the streets? From the streets. From the streets. <laughs> We're that actually reminds be... me when we took a whole bunch of volunteer contributors. Yeah. Oh, I, we got yeah, t- Nick out of that. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm yeah Timmy's, yeah, Timmy's going to be writing for us soon. Anytime now. Who? Timmy. Tim, Timmy's oh. going to be writing for us anytime oh, soon. Timmy. Yeah. Yeah, he's Anyways, coming back. <laughs> Tim's coming back. We're, we're also going to be continuing to do our uh, weekend vibe posts. Guess is going to be continuing doing those for us because that's something that is kind of uniquely ours. And so we want to keep bringing that for you guys. So we'll have a new one up for you guys next weekend. 
Yeah, definitely. So I guess we're going to say is that even though rapid reviews are still important to the site, I guess they're the new focus, you guys don't have to worry about other content leaving. There'll still be interviews, there'll still be full-fledged articles, but they won't be the regular. There'll be something you'll see maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. You know, it'll, it'll be around. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. It was more of a way for us to, you know, break down our time and, like I said, just focus on doing more original stuff. So you'll definitely be seeing other longer articles from Getz and from Nick from time to time. Um, there's actually one coming up pretty soon here. On to other news for the site. This one, Empty might actually say something about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> concerning our stream team and our stream team program, we're actually going to be discontinuing that. It was something that was a great concept when we started it and something we wanted to do to kind of help smaller streamers bring in new viewers and get them going. And it just didn't didn't work out the way we wanted to, it, mostly because of our poor execution on that part and bringing in new people and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to be discontinuing that for now. We're just going to go back to focusing on empty stream. Uh, we will, of course, still be promoting Enemy, Goro, Mouse, and Nick for helping us get that going and you know being a great part of the team. So, you know, they're not going anywhere. They're still going to be doing their thing, and we'll still be hanging out with them. But as far as the site goes, it's going to be focusing back down onto uh, our one stream for now. A.K.A. the best cool. stream. A.K.A. the best stream. <laughs> ah. See, he's so modest. He's the best streamer out there. Yes. <laughs> him, and his leg- him and his legion of people who still, like, watch all his stuff he plays and all the times he die. Everyone's still down for that. It's too good. He's fun to watch. He's fun to watch die. That's the only reason why I started. I'm being honest with you. I told you guys days ago, man. Every moment he dies is another smile on my face. But that's just me, because I'm a horrible person. I actually don't pay attention to Empty. I'm, I have more fun just being in the chat. You a liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. But yeah, the chat's pretty dope. We have some pretty dope people. Yeah, it's all about the chat. Yeah, we got... They're the ones that make the stream. You got so... Shammy Shams. Mr. Sham, I love Sham. Yeah. Love you, Sham. Sham. <laughs> That's my so, shout out. Empty, what do you got coming up on the stream? Oh man, you hit me with that right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit him with it. The, I didn't see that on the question, big question order. <laughs> Games wise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, are you going to do something else on the stream? Huh? Are you going to be doing something else on the stream besides gaming? I uh, oh, Hanging out. Live broadcast from New Talking York. Talking about food. Talking about uh, food. Well, <laughs> Uh, Bioshock Infinite comes out this week or next week, yeah. I guess, technically. So I'll be checking that out. More Legend of Dungeon, of course. More Spelunky. Gotta reach hell. So the, the usuals. And cool, uh, cool. I gotta finish up Anodyne. And I gotta think of some other things to start playing, too. Are you gonna go back to that level one soul run? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, I always like to have Dark Souls in there, so. That night I was pretty tired, so. <laughs> You might restart yeah, the, the soul level the one. Stupid run. mirror mod on still. Stupid mirror mod. I think it gives me a headache. Does that actually make the game any harder? Or is it just like annoying? It makes it harder in the fact that you've played it so much, you're so used to things being one way. Oh, yeah. So stuff will jump out at you that we weren't expecting just because it messes with your head. So it's so basic- cool, but it gives me a headache. So it's basically like mirror. Those, like, oh, I think of the old Castlevania games, they had mirror mode. Where you had to like run through the whole castle upside down and backward. I know Symphony of Night had that. That's what it's reminding me of right now. Is it like mm. that? I guess I, I never played that. Yeah, it is, that's exactly what we're talking about, except for Dark Souls. Oh, for Dark yeah. Souls. Oh, which which makes it completely better. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best. <laughs> Pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, let's jump into new releases, guys. Uh, what's come out since we last? I don't want to go back to since we last did the podcast. It's been a while. But of note, uh, Dead Space Three came out. Which, uh, Meh. yeah, I still need to finish it. Did you finish it, Empty? Nope. Yeah, I got, I, I don't know, five, six hours in? I don't know. I'm probably about six or seven hours in, and I kind of stopped playing. I need to finish it because I want to review it, but meh? Meh. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, I don't know. I Has Dead it lost space, its but... charm? Yeah. Resident yeah, Sleeper. So no, Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space, Resident Sleeper. Oh. Resident Sleeper 3. I don't, I don't know, man. Resident I, I just, Sleeper 6. Resident Sleeper 6. That's hard to argue with, but I don't know. I, I just think Dead Space just fell upon itself. Like, it just collapsed on itself. I mean, how the side missions work and the microtransactions, I'm like, there's, there's so many things in that game that just bothers me, and it shouldn't, but it just does. 
Yeah, the ah. microtransactions really didn't bother me. Yeah, I don't, I don't no. care about that. The idea of it bothered me. I yeah. mean, I could see where it, if if it was taken away from the game in some way, I didn't really didn't feel like it did. Doesn't it just add useless crap? Basically. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it was I, like, it, you need yeah. more like salvage and stuff like that, buy some. But I got plenty while I was playing, so it wasn't really a big deal to me. That too. That's pretty dumb. Yeah, exactly. It, it, oh. The idea of it bothered me. It didn't bother me itself. But I think how how the 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 sub dungeons worked. It was like a lot of them just like some looked. I don't know if it was just me, but a lot of the rooms like they just repeated themselves. I'm like, did I see this room before? Did that well, happen? I think the microtransactions could potentially be like a prelude to microtransactions that actually take away from the game that are almost required to have. You know, I mean, I don't know. I think our our industry goes down a path sometimes where it really wants to pull every nickel out of your pocket. So, like, these ones in Dead Space 3, I don't think they're all that serious, but, like, I don't know, five, ten years, maybe even sooner than that, we could have microtransactions that actually take away from your experience. That yeah, it's act- always a danger. Just like with DLC and adding in DLC that should have been at the end of the game. Take uh, Asura's Wrath, for example. Yeah, these yeah, things, these things slowly build up. I mean, it started slow. DLC did. I mean, microtransactions can start small, too. Yeah, so I mean, I can see this being a stepping stone towards that. But as far as Dead Space 3 goes, the game itself really didn't have an impact on my playthrough. Did you try co-op? I haven't tried co-op yet. I heard that was actually pretty fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. I want to finish the game solo first. Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance also came out. I want that game. (laughs) Empty played it. Did you play it, Gets? I haven't played it. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I want to. Only because I heard it's uh, batshit insane. So. Yeah, I played the demo. It was nuts. It was so much fun. Well, Empty, you want to weigh in on this one? Uh, Well, I haven't played much. I only played it for one night. So maybe like three, four hours. And what do you, oh, think? you should be like halfway through the game then. <laughs> I move slow. Remember time? I die oh, a yeah. lot. Stupid dog. Dog boss took me forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Effing dog boss. But yeah, it seems cool. The gameplay's all right. Um... Like Git said, I think the reason why I would keep playing just to see all the nuttiness that happens. I just yeah. wish I could find it in a red box. I really just want to rent it and beat it in a sitting. You can check online for that. Yeah, I have. There's none in my area. Uh, yeah, but may- maybe I'll go back to it just to see how much more Gamefly. crazy it gets. Yeah, I, I think that game... The community hit it the same way that they did Devil May Cry, where they were saying the gameplay was crap. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's like Empty said, you heard him say it before... I don't play this game for the gameplay. I play it to see the crazy story. I mean, that's why you uh, finished wait, uh, Devil that. May Cry, right? Right? Huh? Isn't that what you said? I don't play it for the challenge. Like, people are yeah. saying, oh, Devil May Cry, it's not hard, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's I what I meant. I don't play it for the difficulty challenge. I just play it to see what's going to happen next. Yeah, yeah, because you were making fun of me because I'm playing through Tomb Raider on hard. Yeah. Ha, Tomb Raider. Well, that's Metal Gear. Tomb Raider also came out a couple weeks yep. ago. I'm playing through that. Empty gets tired. You guys all finished it, right? Yeah, I got yep. that off Redbox and declared I was going to finish it in one night. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I finished it too. Forced playthrough, but no. <laughs> it was well, severely moderate. Pretty much. Yeah, I thought it was alright. I think it's okay too. I'm not done yet. I'm almost done. Uh, I'll probably finish it up today after the podcast. For here. what it's worth, I think it's a solid start to Lara Croft's beginning story, you know? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, like, this is this is the beginning of her tale, and, like, hopefully she's only going to get more fun to play as as these games come out, and I would like to see a sequel, even though it was just kind of eh for me. Yeah. I want to see more puzzles. Uh, yes, that was my main thing. I love... I, I've just completed the last dungeon, the last optional dungeon. Yeah, uh, the, optional the actual tombs. tombs. The tiny yeah, tombs. Uh, yeah. They're great. No. I love them. They need less, to be bigger and they puzzles, need to be more of them. Less puzzles, more awesome moments. So yeah, Go play Uncharted. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. But anyway. Yeah, so that's get... what I'd rather have. I'd rather have it be more Uncharted. But the at the only... same time, if you want it to be more Uncharted, should you just play Uncharted? Like I do? <laughs> go, yeah, go get it for the Vita. Go chill it on my Vita. <laughs> but yeah, I, the, the times that I felt like, hey, this is a Tomb Raider game, is when I was in those optional tombs. And it sucks because they're yeah. optional. I don't think yeah. I did a single one of those. <laughs> which... I did every single one I found, which I think was like five or something. I found... Oh, no, yeah, I only found five, I think. I did them, 
only at the behest so I can stop playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Gets is forced to write articles for us and forced to play video games. Yep. No, the for- I'm forced to write articles. Forced to play video games, you have to talk to my talk to my lady friend about that. It's not fair. And the worst part is, I'm not even a horrible guy. Like, Every other I just didn't person want to play listening that day. to this would kill for that, kids. No, you know why? I bought a whole stack of comics and books to read that day. I would just—I didn't want to play video games that week. I was just burnt out because I just finished beating like two or three How games. How do you work for us? Easy. I write things. I'm consistent. Okay. Yeah. So I was burnt out that week. I didn't write any. I mean, I could, you know, write an article or two, but I just didn't want to play anything. So I just—I had my—I had my books set up. I was gonna read some manga, comic books. Here she comes in. I got two minutes from GameStop. Want to play it? No, nah, come on, play it for me. I'm like, baby, no. Why you wanna go play for me? You gonna beat me like that? I'm like, you gonna beat me like that? I thought you had tournament wins. I'm like, I, what are you now you're using that line? Again? Does she <laughs> listen to these podcasts? She does. Of course not. Okay. She does. Gets us gonna be single when this goes up. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Like yo, rest in peace, get silliest on Well, it sounds like he'll status. be happy about that. <laughs> nah. And the worst part it was like, now she listened to me when I said that Ben had tournament win. Now she listened. Well, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, my <laughs> girlfriend makes me play video games. I hate life. <laughs> no, I didn't want to, bro. It's been like I was actually tired because I, I beat Persona Four Golden straight double, um, double New Link. I didn't get all the trophies yet. I finished like four. I finished my insane playthrough of Penny Arcade, so I can actually make sure those classes actually did suck when I wrote my rapid review on it. <laughs> I I was trying to get um the cup finish a couple of DLC for Sleeping Dogs, and I was just burnt. I just didn't want to play anything, so I just picked up my manga comics, just want to read that whole week and a half. And here she comes, Tomb Raider. Thanks, Laura Croft. You ruined a relationship, you British prick. Wow. No, no offense to Nick at oh, all. We love you, Nick. Love you, Nick. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna pull out a forty for Nick since he died today. Four out of forty. Yeah, Nick is off. Uh, he's doing yeah. some British things. Yeah. They had to go invade Ireland or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, they should have done this years ago, but whatever, right? <laughs> Beyond that, um, Legend of Dungeon went into what open beta uh, last Friday. <laughs> Any either of you guys had a chance to play that? Nope. Uh not yet. Okay, I haven't either. Empty. Legend That's all I do is play that. That awesome? thing out, man. Yeah, you finished it, right? Uh, I guess technically, you can never really be done with it. You just keep playing it. Uh, but yeah, I did beat. I guess I did beat the game. Does that mean Finally. another Binding of Isaac on the horizon? Yeah, pretty much. It's one of those games that scratches that yeah Isaac and Spelunky itch That's that I cool. love. Yep, yep. But yeah, it's awesome. And yeah, like I said, they went. They're calling it nearly beta because it was in alpha before. But now you can actually purchase it and get into the beta. And, you know, they give you the Steam key if it gets greenlit and all that good stuff. Get access to the final release and the plan to expansions that they're doing. So do you know if they're adding in more, like, actual content and stuff? Or are they just yeah, kind yeah. of finalizing? There's a ton of more monsters and items they're going to be adding. Okay, cool. And then one of the planned expansions they're doing is actually uh, character classes. Okay. So that's going to be cool. But yeah, there's still nice. a ton of items they got to add. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I, I know that we are going to be talking to Robot Loves Kitty uh, down the line here, so look for that. Uh, Who's doing that? Is that good? Probably next month. Yeah, it's our interview guy gets. Yeah, I'm the I'm the social guy. People lo- people right. love me apparently. Don't scare so. them. They're really nice, kids. Don't don't scare them away. I will do that. My channel. Just for you, I will tell them all your deepest darkest secrets. Just <laughs> as friends, I will tell them all about it. <laughs> yeah, but they're awesome. So I know, I'm really no, enjoying no, the no, games. No. Definitely, the last couple of months, probably the. My favorite thing I've been playing. Yeah, right on. Um, and then uh, of course, Sim City came out. Oh God! <laughs> and, and did anybody else play that besides me? Yo, right here, right behind you. I played the beta. I played a copy on my friend's laptop at work, and boy, it was pretty bad. I enjoyed it. We tried using the. Also, I was using the work internet, so that's kind of you know. A little oh bit yeah, better. I played You're it with just... a friend too, and I just felt really restricted. You know. Yeah, I, that I was mean... my main issue. My review's up on the site. I gave it a 2 out of 5 because it, it just felt like there was a, a lot of things holding back the good parts that were there. It's got deep systems for a lot of detailed stuff for you to min-max your, your city. I love being able to you know, augment my buildings to add more uh, rooms for patients at the hospital, more dump trucks to pick up you know, trash, and, and all kinds of little things like that. The way the city grows uh, based off of 
citizen income and based off of density and stuff like that. Real interesting. It, it, it's got a lot of great concepts in there. But the fact that the maps are so small and you're so reliant on the other cities in your region just really holds the game back for me. And I just, honestly, I just could not get around that to make myself feel good about that game. That sucks. Because yeah, I like yeah. that series. Yeah, I, I love SimCity. I, I mean, I, I noted down that I hadn't played one since, I think, SimCity 2000. So I was looking forward to this one coming out. I was like, yeah, I want to play a new SimCity. Check it out. You know, it's awesome. But it just wasn't. Big letdown. I mean, uh, well, at least you didn't talk about the commercial. I mean, that, that was your personal oh, piss man, off. that commercial. <laughs> they hired the guy from Workaholics. I mean, he's a funny guy, but really? To, to, to do a video game I did, promo? I didn't even know where that guy was from. I just thought the commercial was complete garbage. That was horrible. It's on my rap review, guys, if you guys want to see it. It's just, oh my god. Yeah. The funny thing I, is the guy, he, he's from a, a TV show, Workaholics, on Comedy Central. And he's kind of funny on that show. The problem is, like, it just didn't feel appropriate. And I'm a guy who enjoys comedy a lot. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to talk about <laughs> he's like, city forever, forever. He's like, we want to talk about EA a little bit. Uh, John Rigatello's out. Oh, man. That, Goodbye. Are you serious? Nothing that is the change. best EA release we heard so far. <laughs> Nothing. That is the best change. EA release so far of oh, this no, year. Oh, no. No, because the only reason he's gone is he, quote unquote, resigned over. You know, because he wasn't happy with their, you know, financial statistics. Yeah. I mean, all that is is the stockholders said, hey, we want this guy gone, and he's gone. Yeah, they're going to find else. someone else they like to fill the position and things bring will continue money. with EA. Yeah. No, no, it, I know nothing's going to change, but it's just, that just kind of shows what happens when Dead Space 3 and SimCity. It was and, kind of a wake up call. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I hope it was if for them. For them, yes. I mean, for the industry, it was kind of a wake up call for people to finally go, okay, maybe something is going wrong here. But I hope it yeah. is a wake up call for EA also. Yeah, I hope it is. I hope that they're able to. Kind of take a look and like, okay, we're not making money this way. We're not making as much money as we wanted this way because they're still making money. What can we do to change that? And hopefully it's, hey, maybe start fucking listening to the gamers. I hope they'll stop running my favorite developers into the ground and then closing them down. <laughs> it's almost like a death sentence being picked up by EA if you're a developer. Oh, man. Because you're going to be like, yes, I'm going to have this short burst of great success and then I'm not going to have a job. Oh, well, I mean, if you're high enough up in that company, you can play your cards right, get that short burst of success, save your money, and open another company uh, and do something original. But that's not exactly ideal, though, and that's a really big risk. <laughs> hey, man, you got to think outside the box. But the box is empty apartments thing. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. <sighs> we got to keep the box. Also out recently, uh, and I think these are all games none of us have played, so I'm just going to run through them real quick. Gears of War Judgment came out. I uh, heard mixed things about that. I heard the campaign is bad, but the multiplayer is the best ever. I heard the campaign is okay, multiplayer is lacking. Yeah, <laughs> so, so mixed things. Mixed things. Mixed things. <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate came out. Yeah! Oh, man. It. Love it. So much you fun. buy me a Wii U. You, are you I playing just it, wanna, I want to play it. Uh, yeah, I'm on my 3DS, so unfortunately no online, but it's still yeah, exactly. a lot of fun. That's it. But that's the problem, though. I just I just felt like this is the first time the Monster Hunter series do it. Remember the Monster Hunter for the PSP that you had to get a PS3 to play it? I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, so, like, it's a series that, you, you know, online really takes its replayability to a new level. So it kind of sucks that I don't have online, and being in a small town, there's nobody playing it near me. But it's still a lot, a lot of fun. And you do have NPCs to help you, but it's just not the same. Mm. It's not the same, yeah. But I, it, it's I the heard that I, the I recommend it for was, Wii U. What was that? I recommend getting the Wii U version if you can uh, for online. Yeah, yeah. I, I need a Wii U. App was delayed, but the only way to get online with that is through the Wii U, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't I haven't paid Sucks. attention to Monster Hunter in forever, but I recently watched the quick look they did on that game on Giant Bomb, and man, I need to start playing it. It looks amazing. it's amazing. It looks good too. It's one of the best looking games on the 3DS, and that's saying something. Hmm. You know, a lot of yeah, 3DS, for sure. Because a lot of 3DS games just look like meh, you know. But uh, anyway. I'm just hurt personally because I have it for my 3DS and I have to get a Wii U or think about purchasing a Wii U in order to enjoy this game. Like, God, yeah, maybe somewhere down it. the line I'll do it, but I don't want a Wii U yet. Me, 50, exactly. 50 bucks at Best Buy today. Get up. Uh, what? What? What's 250 on Best Buy today? For what? Wii, Wii U. U. The base. How many gigs though? Because you you know you lose like a portion of that to the system update, right? But I care about gigs. It's a Wii U. I'm not going to use it that much. Uh, that's true. Well, I mean, with things going pretty digital, you know, Nintendo might hop on that path too. Sometimes. Well, they already are with the 3DS, with the way yeah. they like 
you know, pushed Fire Emblem on the eShop. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they purposely made fewer copies. That's I know. Did you go? <laughs> I want to tell a story. My brother wanted this game so bad, so bad, that he traveled to almost every store in the city. He had to go to upstate New York just Same. to get this game. Well, yeah, I traveled so far to try to find this game. Couldn't. It well, was... if you guys wanted it so bad, why didn't you just download it? I did. The That's what is... I ended up doing. No, I'm really got the physical copy, so he's happy. And yeah, just download me it. getting a physical yeah. copy, so... Yeah. Crazy, I, I, don't get me wrong, I always prefer to have a physical copy over a download, but I mean, if it's something that you want it so bad, why don't you just download it? Well, that's what I did. After a couple of days of looking, I just decided to buck up and get the download, and it was worth it in the end. I do still wish that I had the physical copy, but, you know, I'm getting a free art book from GameStop, at least, so I still have something. Oh, okay. Well, you can once, send that right over. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut up. You know, once you actually start playing the game and having fun, you forget that you don't even have a digital copy. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, but yeah. I'm a, I don't know. I mean, my physical copy, I'm going to hold on and put it to my, to my shelf of crap I have next to my manga and comic books and all that crap I collect. Collector syndrome. Stop talking man. about your anime stuff. Yo, it's not anime. This is comic a book is not podcast. anime. Physical copies is legit, man. What the hell are you man. doing? Uh, physical Stop copies. It. You see, yeah, but for real, no, for real, it's just like, I'm just used to collecting physical things, so if I don't have a physical, it just feels wrong on certain aspects. I know that feeling. I just play games. I don't care about the box. The hell am I do with the box? It's just going to sit there. Your head is a box. You have to care. This, you're preserving your people. It's easier just to boot up a game than have to go get the disc and crap. You hear this, man? Although I do have to admit, now that I have Fire Emblem on my 3DS, I need a bigger SD card because it took up like 8,000 blocks and I have no D? room left. Isn't that in like 2 gigs or something? It came with a, I think, a two or four gig as uh, SD card, and it took up almost all of it. That combined with uh, another game I downloaded, Crimson Shroud. Like I have no room. <laughs> oh man, that's brutal. Also out, guys. God of War Ascension came out. Is that man, is that a yeah. new game? Is that a new God of War game? Well, it's a it's it's a, it's a bundle pack. No, it's a new game. Okay. Yeah, that came out last week. Uh, Starcraft Two: Heart of the Swarm is man. out. Wah, wah. Actually, I want to play that. It's been forever since I played StarCraft. I really loved that game when it came out, so possibly might pick that up. I don't know. And Walking Dead Survival Instincts, another one that came out. Uh, Big. Uh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Man, I wish I would have gamefied it in time. Just gamefly it right now. Play it this week. It takes week. a while because it's a new release. I, have to, I don't know. It's complicated. Just go buy it, dude. It's only like 50 bucks. It's only like 50 bucks. I just wanted to I'll... stream it for like one night to see how bad it was. <laughs> I hear it's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, man, I, not re- no it, one's ready for it. Being pretty bad, it probably will make for a good stream. Yeah, that's why I figured one night it's not gonna kill nobody. But I don't think Empty's gonna die much, and that's what people like to watch. Like I've seen the zombies in that game. Like there will be a horde right next to you, and they'll just shuffle at you one at a time and let you smack <laughs> them in the face, or they'll sit there and attack a fence right next to you or something. <laughs> Yeah, the, the funny thing is, I wish that zombie AI existed in uh, it was in Left 4 Dead and mostly in Dead Rising, but no, they came in The Walking Dead. <sighs> Sometimes you kind of wish your zombies were dumber in in other games. Like you guys play Left 4 Dead, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you ever you play with friends at high difficulty? Those zombies are the zombies are a bit smarter than your average retard. Why weren't they Walking Dead stupid? I wanted them to be Walking Dead suits so I could just have a good time. Not constantly pissing my pants and I'm running out of ammo. My friend left me for dead. Oops, right there. I don't think you understand what you're supposed to be feeling in zombie games. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a good time, you know. I have a stogie in my mouth, my buzz cut haircut, wearing a red t-shirt, just kicking ass, chewing bubblegum, you know? No. No, I don't. This is exactly why <laughs> I have problems. No one understands any what it's like to be a badass anymore. I have to shave my head and be bald. I just want to, you know, sit on a lazy boy and just put some wheels on it and coast through the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have, why haven't we tried that yet? But no, no, we're too busy complaining about game survival difficulty. Instincts. I'm sure you did. Do you guys it in survival see instincts. that little mini series that they released before Dead Rising Two came out? A uh, no. little live action mini series with the Asian guys. I didn't even hear about the that. Warehouse. Oh, wait, 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 it's on Xbox Live. You can download it. One of the Asian? guys is in a wheelchair. Oh wow! And awesome. What I, what he ends up doing is just welding all this crap to his wheelchair and just mowing down zombies. It's awesome. <laughs> See, that's, that's what awesome. I'm talking about. In other news, guys, the announcement for the PlayStation Four last month that we didn't get a chance to really talk about. I did the live blog for it when it was going on, which was pretty fun. A lot of great stuff came out of that. I think uh, I'm excited for it. 
uh, not a lot of Vita stuff they talked on about. Everybody. Not a lot. Of, sorry about that. Not a lot of Vita stuff came out for it. I think I ranted this to Creeper. Like it was a lot of announcements for the PSP. There was a lot of snappy wordplay. Jonathan Blow was there. Nick's favorite developer, Jonathan Blow. Everyone there. Nick, Nick uh, knows Jonathan Blow's a jerk. Nobody likes him. Nick loves him. I like. Nick I like Jonathan him. Blow. Yeah. <laughs> Nick loves him. So yeah. y'all hate him. I know. <laughs> Well, honestly, I mean, you're, you're sitting here mentioning the Vita. It wasn't about the Vita. It was about the yeah, PS4. I know, I know, but I was PS4, hoping for more. I, I hoping it was like more things for the Vita that would be important to it because the Vita right now is like it's like beating down a cripple kid, man. It's not cool. Yeah, I have no two things to say about anymore. the PS4: Watch Dogs and The Witcher Three. I'm looking forward to Watch Dogs. Uh, Witcher Three. Not beat down. I actually don't know what that is. I didn't. Catch oh my everything. god, Ty, are you serious? I'm dead serious. Ty. 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 Get fired. Ty, go look up deep down. From Capcom. Okay. You will love it. Are you sure? Yeah. They they said it was a new IP, but it takes place in the Dragon's Dogma world. Interested. So there you go. <laughs> I love Dragon's Dogma. You love Dragon's Dogma? I Ugh. love Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty mixed about it. Well, you I like Jonathan Blow. I haven't so bought any DLC a for it. Oh yeah, seriously, is the DLC good for it? I'm being serious. Is the DLC good? Don't bother with any of the DLC, but Dark Arisen is coming out, and that's what you'd want to get. All right, but there's I'll like free that. DLC to like uh, for a speedrun mode and a hard mode. Those are worth it because the game gets pretty easy. I'll check it out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll write a review about it, a rapid review on it. But I, I'm pretty pretty apathetic about Dragon Dogma. It didn't wow me, but it didn't suck. So you know, fair trade. Right? Yeah, it it had some things that people did not like, like the fast travel. If you do rapid review it. I really suggest waiting until Dark Arisen and buying that, because they actually alter a lot of the things that people had complaints about. Well, if, if I do a rep review on it, I'll probably compare both, and from knowing myself, I'll be a jerk and still give it a uh, give it a three. Cause I'm yeah, just that's, that much that's, that's fine, but yeah. at least you gave it a chance. Yes, yeah, so you're disappointed about the lack of Vita content at the PlayStation 4 announcement. What did <laughs> you like? Was there anything you liked from it? Um, watching Dogs. I like the fact watching that... Dogs. The, watching Dogs. <laughs> I liked how the intro speaker, the was coordinated thing. He well, he did a very damn, he did a damn good job relating to all the topics, passing it through, keeping it cordial, able to. He was able to command the crowd as well as direct it to other people. So it's a really good speaking skills on his app. But the guy know, with the freaky eyes? Uh, no, no, the <laughs> intro guy. The, uh, the intro guy. I believe he was uh, British. I believe I don't remember his name. I wish I was. Hard Honestly, on everybody that they had come up on that stage to talk, they they all did a great job. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. There uh, is no was... Aisha Tyler. Nope. Exactly. No. And uh, I think the thing I'm looking forward to is a lot of what the PS4 can do or will do. They seem to be pushing that social network uh, comment thing. I don't really know why, because everyone has kind of did that already. Like, oh, you're connected to the Facebook, you're connected to Twitter, you're connected to this and that. You'll have Ustream. Uh, like... It's more that. It's more the Ustream. It's more the connecting between consoles, the streaming thing. It's a lot of great content in there. I mean, my big thing was... They came out, and they came out talking, this is for gamers. Not, this is the family console, not this is your yeah. living room entertainment thing. This is for gamers. And that Definitely. got me, in your words, hyped. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm more excited for the PS4 than, you know, well, definitely than the Wii U, and more than the next Microsoft console, too. Well, to be fair, we we don't know what the next Microsoft console is yet, so I'm yeah, going to leave that on the reserve. Yeah, but i a lot on the 360. They're really going to, like, you know... They're trying to push it where the 360 is for absolutely everything. Like, you don't need anything else for your TV. You don't yeah, need cable. That's the only thing you they're should have for Skyrocket. They're, they're pushing for tons and tons and tons of multimedia and on there. You get there. to continue on with your achievements. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, Ojo aside, I, I would like that. Because everyone knows the bigger your achievement or e-penis is, the better person you are. Look at all those great Call of Duty players with their t- with a nine hundred thousand achievement score. Those guys are like the top of the no, top. No, Call of Duty players Most Call have Duty like players three thousand like, points. Yeah, I know, yeah, no, no, because they're always Call making new accounts for their cool like Call of Duty <laughs> names. Yeah, or because I know, they get I know. banned. Yeah, XX four twenty sniper X X. Yeah, XX. XX. yeah. <laughs> I can see Microsoft coming out and, as Ty said, pushing that home main hub thing. And I can also, and I was talking to Darko about this. I can also see them coming out being extremely arrogant about how they're the leader in the consoles right now, the way that Sony was when the PS3 came out. Yeah. I guess they can do that at the same time. I think they will learn. Don't want to repeat history again because this would be a bad idea. 
I mean, it happened way too many times within my gaming life to see co- people do that. Like, we're the best around. They're going to keep us down. They it's good. We're talking about dude. corporations here that yeah. get too full of themselves. I know, I know. That's I know. the way Microsoft too much is right now. I know. That's the way Microsoft is right now. And what it comes down to is I'm probably going to get the next Microsoft console, but the PS4, I think, is going to be my first goal because they've really convinced me so far that they're really about the games. Yeah. But like Get said, we have yet to see anything from Microsoft. True. I, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting on that the Steam Steam announcement and see what they have to say about that. But as of right now, this I'll be waiting time... for my free copy from Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Empty? Nothing? What? Xbox 720, dude, can't wait. Oh, 720, oh, Gavin. Oh. He said 720. 720. Fire. Oh, man, he's pulling out the supers. The boys over at Gentleman Squid Studio announced Rise of the Ravager is going to be coming out. Reminds me of that old school Atari game where you're shooting stuff. You like the command. Muscle shooting. command. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the feeling I got from it. So it looks pretty fun. The way that Netrap put it, it's like a mix of that and the like the Guitar Hero game where you're matching the colors and stuff. Yeah, the color coding and everything. Yeah. I and think it's uh, intuitive. I actually I wasn't able to play it because I had an issue running it on my system. Something to do with my video card. So what I did catch seemed pretty cool. So I really want to check that out. Good luck to them uh, getting that out and released. Glad to see some new stuff from them. Upcoming releases, upcoming in the next uh, month, month and a half. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon comes out this Sunday, the 24th. What version is that? 3DS. 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 There's one coming out for Wii U too, or no? I Not don't think I so. No. There's no Wii U Luigi's Mansion? In the I upcoming? don't think so, nope. Not no. that I've seen, no. Well, okay, never mind. So that's but coming I, out the I think the 3DS library is getting really strong really fast. It's getting strong to the point where... I'm looking at my Vita, and I own a 3DS. I'm looking at my Vita, I'm like, what are you doing? I just want to smack it, like, you know, you smack your kids around, but I can't do that, because that's the money out the window. You can always yeah. send it to a needy kid. I'll take N- your Vita. No, I won't give it a tie, because knowing a tie, he'll just sell it for drugs. We know this. That's what I'd he is. I'd probably just sell it for the games. <laughs> yeah, but no, I think the Vita, if anybody got that picture from IGN, the GameStop, a lot of Vita games are coming out later this year, maybe like, I think it's like June, the summer, so I'm still holding my Vita to see those games good to be come out. They were getting Dragon Crown, I think, or is it Guilty Crowns? I haven't worked at GameStop, I know that none of those dates are correct. Yeah, it's a, it was a leak, I'm like, maybe it's important, maybe not, I don't care, but I'm just gonna wait. Nah. I mean, I still got still got a couple of the games I play and I still enjoy it. Mind just, sir. Yeah. Coming out Tuesday, Bioshock Infinite's gonna be here. Nobody excited for that? I'm excited, I but... want it, but... I'm not. That's not first on my list for the upcoming months. I'm probably gonna be picking it up anytime soon. Uh, Slender: The Arrival is also gonna be out on the 26th. Uh, Empty, you plan on playing that? Oh yeah, I'll probably check it out. I gotta see exactly what what it is because I know you could already buy something and get into it, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably check it out at least. It seems okay. I don't know. Not on my list for anything. April 2nd, Defiance is gonna be here for I think almost every system. Ty, you've been playing that beta, right? Yeah, I, I spent a couple days in it. I am sorely disappointed. Really? Yeah, I got really excited for it for a little while, and it looked really fun. It's a cool concept because, you know, it influences the show on sci-fi, and the show influences the game. It, it's interesting. Oh, that's right. That was that one. Yeah, the show comes out April 15th. I played it, and right off the bat, there were too many bugs too close to release for me to feel comfortable. <laughs> um, and you know they, they had a feedback system in the beta after every quest. They're they're probably still fixing bugs and everything, but there's huge audio issues. And I know it's a beta, yada yada, but it's so close to release, so I canceled my pre-order. <laughs> you know, even if the bugs are fixed and everything in time, it's still downright a pretty boring game. Yeah, that's the feeling I got from it. I, I played the alpha on PC a while back, and I mean it was an alpha, so I know that there's plenty of issues that I had with it would be fixed. Yeah. But I was like, eh, the concepts and the core mechanics here just seem kind of boring. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty like bland. Took, yeah, the worst parts of Borderlands and the worst parts of yeah. an MMO and mashed them together. Exactly, that's the exact feeling I got. And, you know, it's, it's a really cool setting, you know, set in a post-apocalyptic San Francisco Bay. The, well, yeah, the, the most exciting thing I thought was that whole the show and the game interaction thing. But yeah, the, like the I'll, I'll probably give the I'll probably give the uh, the show a shot, but I will not be playing the game at all. I've already deleted the beta. I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the day after that, on April third, Battle Block Theater is finally going to be out. Finally, did you get a chance to play the beta at all, Empty? Just a tad. Not I too, played too much. Too. Pretty busy. When I played it, I like. 
past four Comic Cons. I don't know, it's fun. I'll definitely pick it up and check it out. Play with some viewers in the stream and stuff. Yeah, I play the beta for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Play the solo campaign to check it out. Pretty quirky, you know, goofy fun. What you'd probably expect from, you know, the guys over at Behemoth. So mm-hmm. it seems fun. Uh, I might be picking that up, give it a shot. Or at least to finish the little single player thing, because that was pretty cool. A lot of great, you know, customization in it with the different heads and hats and bodies and crap. So uh, after that, on April 16th, we have Injustice Gods Among Us. Gets that's this game. Playing that crap. Something's muted on his end, but Injustice, I don't know. I'm more of a Marvel guy, so Injustice being DC Comics, I'm not too interested, and I'm not big on fighting games like Getz is. I don't know. Even that game, it looks good to me, even. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they're taking what they uh, learned off of uh, The Last Mortal Kombat and uh, what they learned that people liked and didn't like from that uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe and putting together something pretty cool. But it actually does look like a really interesting and fun game, and it's something I'll probably give a rent, even though I don't like DC or fighting games all that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might check it out too. Uh, it just looks maybe uh, it just looks like fun. You know, the environments are really you can really interact with the environments. It seems, which is cool. It, maybe uh, empty. You think about maybe giving that a night. Maybe, maybe I'll game fly it. I think it'd be cool to check out. Also that day, Pandora's Tower. Pandora's Tower for the Wii. Yeah, the third game out of uh, Operation Rainfall that everyone was trying to get okay, localized. Yeah, yeah. So we got Xenoblade, we got the last story, and Pandora's Tower, it's it's pretty much the most niche title. It's it's a really odd one. You know, Operation Rainfall really campaigned for it. Nobody thought we were going to get it. But then uh, XSeed, the people who published Last Story, they also decided to pick up Pandora's Tower for us. Who's the dev on that? You know, I actually don't remember off the top of my head but it's a really interesting looking game and april 16th is just a placeholder title we're only confirmed for april oh okay we we don't know april that's just the the date all the retailers are putting on it like gamestop and amazon but it'll be out in april sometime developed by ganbarian company limited never i don't know what other games they've done but it's a cool-looking game, and, you know, if you got Last Story or Xenoblade, I suggest picking this one up. Oh, you know what? They they do the One Piece series. Oh, okay. Eh. Yeah. And then the uh, new Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hacker is going to be Finally yep. getting that over Finally. here. Finally. So excited. Beyond. I've, I've never played any of the uh, Devil Summoner series. I've been Summoner wanting series. that game for a long time, and I am just another title that's going to make the 3DS even better. Pretty hyped for that game, too. Pretty hyped. Awesome. There's a lot of games I want localized for the 3DS, but Soul Hackers is a good start. Yeah, that's that's one for sure. Some good stuff coming out, guys. So I think this year is very good for games. Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, it's it's okay. 3DS crap. You're right. Yeah, there's some great stuff coming out later down the line. I mean, uh, Last of Us is coming. That game. Looks I awesome. wish that did not get delayed. <laughs> I was gonna get it for my birthday. I know it. <laughs> I know someone would have got it for me somewhere, but now it's coming out in June. <laughs> oh, it's well. coming hitting Steam May first, though. I'll give Fez another playthrough when it comes out on Steam. Oh, yeah, Fez. <laughs> my wife loves that game. Yeah, that game's awesome. I suck. I love oh, it. My. Oh, my God, Ty. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel you? your pain. My girlfriend could beat Super Meat Boy without dying. I play it, I die like every two seconds. I know, your pain. That's the point of Super Meat Boy. <laughs> she beat, no, she could beat the game without dying. She already did it, like, three times. Well, that's not um, normal. Well, yeah. yeah. Your girlfriend isn't human. Well, why do you think... You should, like, what? stab her with a stake through the heart right now. But but I finished Fez, so it can't be that if I did Wait, if I did that, would that mean that I have ruined the only person that understands what, how to beat a platforming game by nature? Like, what if she could beat I Want to Beat a Boshi without dying? Kill her. <laughs> you're already, you're already here, babe. She, she, t- she told me to kill you, so if I go to jail or you try to protect yourself, I, it's not my fault. Ty said it, not me. Yep. Yeah, do whatever Ty that. says. That's in, that's intelligent. That's uh that's, that's the smartest the person here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to uh jump into what we've been playing. I mean, is there anything else that we, we haven't talked about yet you guys want to talk about? No, I guess I mean, no. no. I think I think yes. we covered everything right. pretty well. Good. Empty. Buy a three DS. Yeah, buy a three DS. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be that I just buy it. Just say. Yeah. I never played handhelds, man. I don't. What? I never played handhelds, so there's no reason he... for me to get a 3DS. This is the part where we have to just tie. Can you just tell me to kill Empty instead of kill my girlfriend so I can feel no, better about die. this? Huh? I like Empty. <laughs> Why she gotta die? She makes. 
She makes a really good taco. What no human beats Super Meat Boy without dying. I either think you're lying or she needs to die. She needs to die. She made me play Tomb Raider. She needs to die. <laughs> I, Horrible. I play. This is the worst podcast yet. Not yet. Shane will tell you that any audio thing with me involved goes in the bad way. <laughs> yeah. No, better yet. Until we find like evident proof that Nick isn't British in the middle of the podcast, then we have, then it's the worst podcast. Wouldn't like, that be we, crazy? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Just out of nowhere, he just starts talking like with a southern like a accent. normal person. <laughs> like a normal person. Like, what the hell was that? He's like, "Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. Look, I just wanted to be cool. I'm really from Georgia." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, I, man. yeah. I'm from the suburbs of Georgia. I have like three guns. My dad owns a dealership. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we miss you, Nick. Sorry you couldn't be here today, dude. I know. Much <laughs> love, brother. Next podcast will be in April. We'll be recording. Wait, 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 wait. What? Uh, games I've been playing. Anodyne, dude. Anodyne just came I, on scene. I that asked, game's awesome. and you just sat there all quiet. No, oh, what? You guys again? Like you. you guys were talking. <laughs> it's just talking about I don't know what he was talking about. <laughs> no one knows what I'm talking you. about. Or right, Anodyne? Yeah, it's awesome. I was playing it uh, like two weeks ago. It just came out on Steam yesterday, so uh, it's really fun. Uh, awesome soundtrack, 16-bit graphics, kind of like old school Zelda type stuff. Who made but, that? Yep. Who made Anodyne? Who developed it? Uh, Sean blanking on his last name. Uh, Sean Hogan, or... I think. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a small team. It's like one or two people. Yeah. But it's cool. It's a fun game. Also, Risk of Rain. I played that on the stream. It's currently in alpha. It's pretty awesome. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, action, platforming, roguelike. Everything. Um, so it's really cool. It's free to download to check out the alpha, Risk of Rain. Looking forward to updates because it's really cool. So I'll be playing some more yeah. of that on the stream. Go ahead, Creep. Anything else? No, well, that's about it besides the stuff we I mentioned earlier. Cool, cool, cool. Any other games, guys? Outside of, I guess, Patchwork Heroes, I've been really enjoying that game. I might want to write about it soon, but I'm really enjoying that. Uh, some RPGs. Gravity Rush. Uh, Gravity Rush is a really good game. I'm, I am surprised I enjoy it. And uh, I just spent half of last night burnt beating Sleeping Dogs. I beat everything in the game. I don't have all the achievements, <laughs> but I beat everything else I could possibly that's believably attainable. So I How that. do you not have all the achievements? What achievements are you missing? Most of them are collect ones and the side and the insane side mission ones from the DLC. Ah, uh, yeah. So I, everything I could possibly do, but I do have most of the costumes. I I caught the Mega Man bug. I just playing some Mega Man Maverick Hunter, which is on the Vita. Which yeah, I've been for, playing that. Yeah, for the past couple of days. I know it's it, it reminds it's me of X Games this year. Let's be let's be fair. Armored Armadillo is the best stage music ever. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I love Armored it. Armadillo. I, I want to say this personally to Capcom. Um, Storm Eagle stage can eat a dick. Playing that on a uh, hard mode, you, that stage can eat a dick. And, and I've just playing those two lately. That's pretty much it. And uh, right on. So Creeper, what, what 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 have you been playing outside of SimCity? Because I know it's a game of the year for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are. I mean, we already talked about Dead Space Three and Tomb Raider. I've been playing those. Of course, I've been playing Guild Wars Two. But I mean, I've talked that to death already too. Uh, <laughs> Eh, you know, it's it's an MMO. I, I jump on every now and then, play a bit. I'm trying to spend more time playing through console games to, you know, get through stuff. Jump on EVE Online every now and then to see what's up. But that's pretty much it. You need uh, to get back at Stephen Dogs. Most of my time spent playing through SimCity and then trying to finish Tomb Raider. So I, I want to get a wrap review for that up uh, this week, hopefully. So I'll probably get it finished today. Cool. Just beat Sleeping Dogs. I, I think, wait, beat Sleeping Dogs, get all the DLC with it, and you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I, 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 I want to do that. It's just, this is one of those things where there's so many other things coming up. Do you want to play the new Gears of War? Uh, Judgment, just yeah. Came out. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Gears of War guy. I love Gears of War. Yeah, I, no, I respect the series. It's just that 3, 3 was like a shot to the face. It was, there was so many things you can nitpick about it. Ugh, I mean, I like multi three. Pl- 3. Multiplayer, the story elements, Karen Travis wrote that game. I mean, I could go on, but. That that came out around the time we first started the site, and I wrote a review on it. I liked the game. Dude, there are so many lag issues that the start off shotgun on its own, it's like retarded. That any, any gears game, the shotgun is the retarded. No, gun just the so saw off. The Nasher is fine. I have no problem with the Nasher. Did they patch the saw off? I'm pretty sure they did. If there was that big uh, an issue ish. with it. it, it, it's been patched and repatched backwards. <laughs> I thought I it was fun, fun for what it was. I'm not yeah. a big fan, but it it was fun for the short time I had Gears Three. Yeah, I enjoy playing it. I, I played it with my buddy. I like co-op. It was good. I, I, I didn't do any of the co-op stuff, I don't think. 
Not much, anyways. Boo. But I, I enjoy playing through the single player. The story wrapped up fine. I miss Dom still. Dom's dumb. I love Dom. I'm Dom's glad. Homie. I'm glad he did what he did. I'm going to kill you. And ended my misery of having to look at him. <laughs> and hear his constant whining. Oh, my wife, she's missing. My wife. Oh, my wife, she was the Oh, my God. Oh, you know my wife, I had to shoot her. Ty, Ty, Ty. What? Um, there's a guy named Dexter Manning who made a uh, a spoof gif of that. It's pretty funny. He made a spoof um redubbing of what happened that scene. I'll show it to you sometime, but you would enjoy it. Because if you're, you're a Dom hater, that, this is the perfect uh, animated short for you. Question. Okay, yes. Who ever knows the name of the person that makes a gif? Right here. That's just odd to me. Get Silius. Have you not noticed the oh. full name? Like a Tribe Called Quest, man. Well, I think the main, you know, thing holding you back from knowing the name of someone who makes a GIF is, you know, someone makes a GIF and then it just spreads and, like, you're never going to find the original source or take the time to reverse search it. Exactly. If you know the... Unless you know, you're the person that's like, oh, my friend made this and I'm going to spread yeah. it around. Yeah. No, unless, no, no. Unless you're that first jerk who that sounds like, like wildfire. Everyone. No, no, that's, that's it. pretty much guess. Dex- no, Dexter's British. I'm American. You know me and Brits don't go one again. Look at me. Look at my relationship with Nick. Half of us are just trying to kill each other. British you know people are weird. Yeah, they are. With their T's and everything. And <laughs> queen. Ty, anything else that, uh, anything you've been playing that you want to bring up real quick? Aside from some older games, Etrian Odyssey 4. Picked Yo. that up for the 3DS. A lot of fun with the short time I've been playing it. A good challenge. And I recommend anyone go out there and buy a physical copy before they disappear. <laughs> They're going to be hard to find, I think. <laughs> I'm starting to think that Nintendo's, the 3DS, I think the eShop is getting bigger, and while it's the physical, I think they're focusing more on e-sales because they want to sell those cards. I mean, so, the one yeah. company that was so behind on this is going to be the first company to go all digital. Yeah, yeah. that's what it seems like. Yo, because for real, I think certain toys, like the Toys R Us that's near my neighborhood, they're selling point cards for super cheap now. You can buy... A fifty dollar PSN card for like forty five dollars. Spot in a three DS fifty dollar card for forty five dollars. I'm like, what? They just want to get rid I of these cards, call that man. Super cheap. Yeah, yeah. five dollars off is super cheap. That's five bucks. That's super cheap. You know why? You can use that five dollars to buy yourself a hoagie. Just saying. Nope. Nobody yeah. eats hoagies. I have you people. What's a hoagie? It's a, it's it's a sandwich. It's it's it, 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 it's, it's a, a subway sandwich. sandwich. It must it's be a, a subway sandwich. sandwich. Subway sandwich? Oh, yeah. a sub sandwich. Yeah. Why don't you say that? Because I'm from the streets. I have to represent what I am all the time. Get you all a hot time. dog. You mean a coney? What? Never, never mind. Oh, <laughs> man. I just remember dirty water dogs. <laughs> Clips, man. <laughs> well, guys, I think it's about time to wrap things up. Word. Sounds good. So, Night uh, Before Empty interrupted me, as I was saying, next month, new podcast. We'll be doing something together for you guys. Probably have some main topic to talk about, talk about what we've been playing. Also looking to get some special guests on. We have a couple people lined up, so we'll see what we can do with that. And I think that's about it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out, guys. Gets, thanks for your random freaking anime crap. You, one of these days, you will enjoy anime like I am. One of these days. I'm going to start saying manga like manga just to piss you off. Actually, you can say it both ways. It doesn't bother me. It won't bother me if you said it in Chinese. Then I'll kill you because you don't have a word for that. Manga? No, we don't. We don't have a specific <laughs> pronunciation for that. I'll figure it out and say it. Thanks for letting me know. No problem, no. <laughs> I'll hunt you down. I will fight a PNW and kill you. That's the only natural way to Stop take care of this. Stop saying PNW. I will say yeah, PNW. Yeah, come on, dude. He's from Washington. I right, PNW. <laughs> Empty, thanks for hanging out and like being quiet like usual. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, thanks everyone. Empty provides good insight when it's best. needed. <laughs> the rest insight is on life. He has insights based on life, guys. I mean, come on. It's based Drop on by the life. stream. Stay alone in the <laughs> chat. All that good stuff. Yeah, hang out on the stream. It's like the place to be on a Saturday night. No, I don't stream on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday night streaming with Empty. Oh, yeah. Ty, welcome back, bro. Good to Thank have you. you back. I'm glad oh, to be back with everyone. Kick out some fun hey. stuff here. Yeah. Hey, Ty, hey, you're Ty. back. Hey, yeah, I am. Look at that. How you been? Good? I'm good, thanks. Great. Can we go over this? No, we didn't. Oh, okay. Well, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, Empty just... wasn't listening at that point in time. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody have a great month. We'll catch you guys next month. Drop by the stream, like Empty said, for some gaming craziness. And, of course, drop by the site. We will have stuff for of stuff up for you guys pretty regularly now. Stuff up. Stuff, stuff, stuff up. 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 Stuff
can't find the stop button. Recording. Blast People off? still recording. Blast. <laughs> <laughs> so we hate our readers, right? Oh, we definitely do. Oh, crap. Right. Creeper's still recording. I can't yeah. find the stop button. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I really it's... hate that sham character. Dude, it's Control Shift R, bro. I have it saved on my, like, I'm looking at my notebook right now. Control Shift R. What if I'm R. on a Mac? You're on a Mac? No. <laughs> what am I, Ty? <laughs> Mac attack. It's under tools, dude. It's under tools. Oh, you're. It's Control Shift T, you dumbass. Control Shift. Oh, my bad. Sorry, my bad. Actually, you're my bad to make on that one. A, do a second. It's, yeah, recording. I said my bad. My bad. I'm actually my bad. My bad. Yeah. Shut up. 